Kaz te huti smoke u seo keftav, kurpa in a ba or in adi sorts of bau. A rupu in her temp to keftan nevicher, kurpa in se had jerem jeritu. And trap tapnate to enter huti, do have a unitary, I banitu, her banitu. Interact ten animal spirits of the bagua, the eating chen, kum, chen, sum, li, ka. Twee, ken, dwa, dao. And it's our ten, animal spirits in the tarot. Dwa, for the air. Dwa, for the earth. Dwa, for the fire. Dwa, for the water. Dwa, for the Okay. Okay. Peace, peace, my peaceful people. What's good? It's your brother, man, say I knew. Back again. There it goes, my April Virgos. What's good with you, my people? My peaceful people. All right, so this is going to be your sun. Oh, I'm sorry. You good? This is going to be your uh, April uh, spiritual focus reading, right? Remember, this is just a general reading, so these you know keynotes are going to apply. Uh, in a loose way, right? Some of this is going to resonate strongly with some of you, you know, and some of it's not. Please mind my shaky camera. I'm on a desk that's kind of rickety, all right? And if I sound like I've been saying this a couple times, it's because I have. <laughs> all right, so with that said, right, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, let us pull this reading, see what's going on. Thank you, Spirit. Let us know what's going on with our Virgos for the month of April. Heru, yes, once again on the case. Heru is all over y'all today. Heru is on the world. It's springtime, y'all. Springtime. Heru to my eye. Let's see. Okay. Heru to my eye. Sebek comes. Sebek at set. Interesting. Okay, Sebek, that's you, Virgos. So you got Sebek in the house for y'all, right? Heheru to my eye, Seker Hetep. I mean, excuse me, Seker. Sebek Hetep. All right. All right, so, yeah, as I've been saying, Heheru has been all over the place. What, how I'm seeing that is that it's springtime. Right now is this is the equinox. Happy equinox to y'all folks out there as well. I forgot to say that to my other folks. Um, yeah, so it's the equinox and the heheru. What happens in the morning, y'all? You know, if you slept a good night, you know, you got your good night rest and your spirit, you know, says and decides to awaken you. What usually accompanies this? If you're healthy, is a nice, uh, uh, firm injection of life force energy, shall we say, especially in men. Now, you know, I can't tell you what personally happens in women. I've seen some stuff. Women, <laughs> women catch that life force in the morning too. But that's what's going on in the whole scheme of things, right? It's six o'clock in the morning now because it's the excellent equinox. Oh, it's six o'clock. So the month of April is the early hours of the day, right? This is the uh, morning time. So this is, you know, people are aroused. <laughs> if I should just be so blunt, this is an arousal time right now. Um, you know, and I say this because, yet, like I said, like I've gotten, so far we got a lot of Heheru going on in the day. Every turn of the page is a Heheru reading, starting from the first page. You know, so yeah, <clears throat> Heheru is in the house. All right, so what that mean? Well, <laughs> that means <clears throat> that you, you need to be focusing on your joy, right? Heheru will trick you up 
right? See, because Haru sometimes has a immaturity about her, right? She want to have fun, man. I told you that before. Haru is all about having fun, right? And so sometimes, you know, for the sake of having fun, she will neglect something spiritual. Or she will neglect her inner work or, you know, she will neglect things in order to go have fun, okay? So, you know, you got to be careful of the way that this Haru energy manifests for, for you, you know, as you're being asked to invoke it, right? You know, you could be, you know, Haru is like, you know, uh, like, like, Haru is a great energy to have walk, to, to walk around with, you know, you Libra people, you Taurus people, you know, y'all have a, you know, a sociable energy, you know, it's easy to get along with you people, right? Because you, you your energy is open and sociable, right? Everybody ain't like that. Some people got the darkness on them. Some people, you know, stuck in the depressive waters. You know what I mean? Some people got the fire on them. You know what I'm saying? But heterus tend to be even kill, you know, sociable, uh, accommodating, you know, harmonious in their way. All right? So, you know, that's just a little bit on hetero that way. And, you know, to, oh, I think my, one of my points was that just that, you know, you want to be careful of getting caught up into joys that are, um, you know, external joys, like, you know, yeah, it's okay, it's, it's, it's good to go to the movie, it's good to go to, a, go to a show or whatever, but, you know, understand that true joy is going to be something that comes from within, something that manifests from amen, right, from your peace, right, so be careful of satiating your urge for external pleasures, that's the spiritual message here at Haru, okay, alright, now, with all of that, you know, be Haru, you know, be sweet, be sociable, you know, in some circumstances, be seductive and sensual, you know, you know, yeah, who up, alright, then we got Sebek, right, Sebek is the opener of the way, right, these, these two in cahoots, oh man, <laughs> like it's going down, it's buying Clyde right here, um, you know, your two, you know, Sahu energies, you know, that's all about externals, you know what I'm saying, you know, and so look, uh, we have a circumstance where Sebek follows Heheru. So, you know, this is a communicative individual. You know, this is someone who has mastered the art of communication, who sees it as an art, right? Because Sebek is communication, right? That's art. Heheru is art. Right? Um, you know, so this is going to be someone who, you know, you know, you could be writing, you could be, you know, this is good for writers, this is great for writers, for some create, creative, you know, writing endeavor, you know, Heheru is the ability for creativity, creativity is when you are producing something from nothing, right, where, you know, the innovator is what Heheru is, right, where, you know, Heheru can, you know, whereas Sebek can take a good idea and make it better or make it work, you know, Heheru would be the origin of that good idea, right? So, you know, you know, be mindful of this stuff, right? You, know, you might have to shop your idea. You might have to take your idea and shop it for money, right? Sebek is the salesperson, right? The agent is Sebek, right? So, you know, you got to look out how, for how, how these two energies work together, right? There's a picture of, you know... Um, a skillful poet. That's right there. You know. Um, you know. Yeah, bunch of things. I don't know. Bunch of things come to me at the same time. Let's do a E King read. See if we can some more. Here we go. Close. Close open. Close open open. Close open open. Open, close, open, close, close, open, close, close, wow, yo, this is a great reading, y'all, this right here, for the cycle, man, Virgos, what did y'all do, that heaven blesses you so much, so well, that's a pretty good reading, y'all, okay, ain't nothing wrong with it, Heheru, Tumaat reading in the springtime that is followed by a Sebek Hetep 
this is pointing to an open way. Whatever it's doing, you know, whatever's happening, this is going to be a success. Whatever you're doing, you're dealing with some business stuff, you're dealing with some creative stuff, you know, um, this is going to be successful, you know, as long as you can apply these principles. Got head of rule, which is, you know, again, we talked about the harmony, the joy, the sensuality, right? Head of rule, right? The high manifestation of. You know, there's an arousal life force with the head of rule. Right? Head of rule is the, the home of the life force. So sexual stuff is here as well. Right? Sebek, Hetep. Right? We are there. Sebek is on the case in the house. It's going down. Sebekian style. Right? So, right? So, you know, you have to do your work. You have to do your Sebek work to help to open that way. Right? You have to get into your Heru, your Heru character and be doing your setback opening the way, right? And this goes into the, there is, you know, if, if there was one hexagram to communicate, you know, auspiciousness in the E-King, it would be the 42nd hexagram, right? This is one of the uh, hexagrams upon which the E-King is actually based, right? It would be the 42 and the 48, right, which is the... Uh, this is this the this is increased right increases 42 that's just, the oracle is saying that as an oracle it for you is increased right you are increased by the oracle right because the oracle gives you counsel right you come and understand you know which way to go and why to go this way and why not to go this way right so the oracle brings you increase and that's what the 50 the pardon me the 40 second hexagram is all about Right. Also, you know, the like I said, the other one is 48. And we don't have to get it all into that now, but it's the 42, which deals with, you know, kindness and uh, sharing, caring, right? Um, you know, giving, right? 42 is generous, right? Um, yeah, yeah. This is, you know, something, you know, is... Well, I almost said possession in great measure, but that's an actual another hexagram. But yeah, this is, you know, this is like the benevolence hexagram. You see somebody at 42, they've got wings and light all around their head. You know, um, yeah, so generally, you know, deals with treating others well in kindness. Um, Heru is all about treating others well, right? And Sebek, you know, Sebek just, you know, Get in your ear and talk some good stuff to you. But yeah, um, you know, so this is this is pretty simple. You know, you have to understand how this Heru applies with the Sebek. Could be, you know, a relationship situation, could be a work situation, anything, you know, a bunch of things, a bunch of ways this go. But expect to have fun with Sebek in the house and, and you had a rule, right? So yeah, that's where we're gonna leave it, y'all. That was a pretty quick and dirty job. Alright, um, so we're going to say peace and love again. If you need a personal reading, get with me in the description box and um, hit my email and we will make that happen. Alright y'all, peace and love. We're going to do it again on the other side. We're going to do it again.